When I decided to make the album September in the Garden, I didn't know what the name of it was going to be yet, but I decided to go to New Orleans to record um, all the songs because it is just the perfect place to record jazz and blues. So I chose 10 songs and went to New Orleans, stayed a month, um, the month of September actually, in the Garden District. and. Um, just you know, got together with really, really great musicians and rearranged all the songs to be more, you know, have more of a jazz New Orleans feel, and um, that's just how it came about. I mean, it really was just magical, and um, so of course, you know, the name is fittingly titled September in the Garden. I chose to sing the song the first time ever I saw your face because I think that the lyrics in the song are some of the most beautiful love lyrics ever written. Um, of course, you know, I love Roberta Flack's version and it was a challenge so it was very fun to record and like every other song on the album, I really love to sing it and perform it live so that's why I chose it. myself on a cool damp night I gave myself in that misty light was hypnotized by a strange delight under a lilac tree I chose to sing the song Lilac Wine because I fell in love with it when I heard Jeff Buckley's version. I love the lyrics and I love the feel of the song and I really love to sing it. So, um, And then I heard Elkie Brooks' version which is a completely different version and um, I love it as well. And it's a huge hit in the UK which is great because when I you know, chose to sing it in the US it really was kind of an obscure choice. I drink much more than I ought to drink because it brings me back you of Abbey Road Studios and um, this is where the Beatles recorded If I Fell, which I have recently covered on September in the Garden. Um, I was turned on to the song by watching um, the new movie Across the Universe, the musical. Um, I'm a new Beatles fan actually and I just fell in love with the words of this song and I think it's a new love song. When I was about three years old, my favorite album was Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. I think it was entitled Whitney. And um, I mean, I loved it so much that my imaginary friend's name was Whitney, and my Barbie's name was Whitney, and my favorite color was blue because that's, you know, what the cover was. And so growing up, I used to emulate Whitney Houston's voice, and that's how I actually started learning how to sing.
When I was in high school, my grandmother came over to my house. I call her Mimi. And um, she brought over a copy of Eva Cassidy's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And she asked me to sing it for her because she just thinks it's the most beautiful arrangement ever done. And so from that point on, I started singing that arrangement of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Well, when I went to New Orleans to record September in the Garden, um, you know, I, I wanted to do that song and, um, you know, similar to the arrangement because I think that it's just beautiful, but at the same time we wanted to make it our own. So um, that's the reason I, you know, performed and, and recorded it, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It's a dedication to my baby. studio time for my 8th grade graduation by a man who heard me singing in the playground at my school. And um, so as soon as I stepped into the recording studio, I really realized that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Another track on the album is Autumn Leaves, which it was written in the 40s and it was originally in French. Um, of course, it's in English on my album, but eventually I'd like to record it in French. <laughs> Just by my window. 